Hey guys, Dan here with Vittertech, and today I've got a new unboxing for you. So I did a video telling you why you shouldn't buy CarPlay 2 Air. That's a CarPlay dongle for those who already have it in their vehicle and want to make it wireless. You plug this adapter in and it makes it wireless. I had a lot of issues with this thing, ended up having to return it, and even the return process was a hassle. I'll link to that down in the description if you're interested in seeing that. But that really inspired me to look for other products like it. It made me ask the question, is there a CarPlay adapter that works out there? <laughs> and that's where I found the Carling Kit 2.0. I'm gonna put a link to this down in the description. You can get it on Amazon and it's not extremely expensive either. So I'm really interested to give this a try. I'm gonna take you through this unboxing and then I'll give another video where I release my thoughts after using this thing for about a week or two. So definitely stay tuned for that. Let's get into this unboxing. Okay, so relatively small, ideally very powerful, but let's get into this thing. We've just got a little note here, talking about customer satisfaction from Carling Kit. Now I'm really interested to try this thing out. I did look at the reviews on Amazon and there were really only a couple the ones that gave bad reviews were the ones who really just couldn't get it to connect to their vehicle at all. Everyone else who seemed to get through it successfully gave it pretty good stars. So I'm very excited to see if it actually does work out. It's got a very sleek package here. It's very much Apple in the way that it's just very minimal whiteness, just showing the actual thing floating here. It looks really nice in comparison to the CarPlay to Air as well. It looks like something that would resemble like a battery, like a portable battery charger or something like that. And it does have the indicator on the front to show you when it's connected. So let's actually get this thing out of the box. All right, so we've got the user manual here. Tells you all the power specifications compatible with iPhone 6 and above systems. And it's, essentially to show, and it's essentially just showing you, you connect it via USB into your OEM dash, and then you just connect wirelessly to your phone. And it tells you here, the way you're connecting from your phone is by Bluetooth. This is very similar to what I expected from CarPlay to Air as well. You simply just connect through Bluetooth and it acknowledges it. It also has an online upgrade instruction. That's interesting. So it seems like you're gonna be able to wirelessly update this device as things do come out. That's really hopeful. You've also got list management. So if you've got a couple of phones that you're connecting to this device, it's very easy to switch between the two. And that's everything. And here we are. So this is the Carling Kit. On the bottom, we've got the USB that we're gonna be connecting to if you wanna do like a pass-through. And at the top, we've got the USB that's gonna connect into your vehicle. So I believe you could do wired CarPlay still if you wanted to, just by simply plugging it into that USB at the top and continuing the cord to your phone. Or if you wanna use it wirelessly, this module will do that. And here we've got a very small USB. You're not gonna need it to be big, obviously. You just need it to connect to your dash. It's USB-C, which is actually very nice to see as well. And yeah, there's not much more to it. It actually feels relatively cheap, despite it looking really good. Um, I doubt that's an indication of the actual system, but we'll see. And you just plug that in and essentially it's just supposed to work just like that. 
All right, so really excited to share with you guys my thoughts on the Carlin kit. Like I said, I'm gonna be doing a review in the near future on this, probably within the next week to let you know whether this is something you should or you shouldn't buy. Let me know in the comments if there's anything specific that you wanna see on this device. I'm always happy to do more videos that way. As always, hit that like button if you enjoyed it and hit the subscribe button to see more from me. Really excited to try this thing out and I will see you guys in the next one.